In this video, I'd like to take a look at how we can use luminance range masks in Adobe Lightroom's local adjustment tools to really hone in and target a specific area of our photograph. Now, in an earlier video, we covered using the color range mask. So if you haven't checked that out, definitely check out that video up in the corner. But the color range mask is very useful when you want to target an area of a photograph that varies in color from what you don't want to select. For example, if you wanted to select a red flower on a green background, the color range mask is super useful for that. This one, the luminance range mask, is useful for when what you want and what you don't want are different in tonality, meaning brightness and darkness. So let's take a look at how we can use the luminance range mask to really target a specific area of a photograph. In this image here, I have in a photo that I took in Death Valley, and I've got this band of mountains running through the background of the photo. Now, I want to do some things to these mountains because they look a little strange right now. I want to darken them down, mess with them a little bit. But here's the thing. They are very similar in color to the sky. Uh, the sky is very warm, the mountains are very warm. So if I was trying to use the paintbrush and a color range mask, I think I would have a hard time. The color range mask would have a hard time differentiating mountains from sky because they vary so much, or they're, they're very similar, I should say, in color. They are very different, however, in luminance. The mountains are quite dark and the sky is very bright. So we might be able to tell Lightroom, hey, let's look at just the darker regions of this selection and just take those. Now, just like the other range masking tool, this process starts with making a rough selection. So I'm gonna grab the simple uh, paintbrush tool or the local adjustment brush, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm gonna make sure I double click my effect word. And again, if you haven't used this tool, check out my video on using the local adjustment tool because that's a really helpful foundation of knowledge that you should have when you're watching this video. But if you're familiar with this, I'm going to paint out where I want to make my adjustment. So I have my tool here. Oh, I'm painting all over. I'm gonna hit the letter O so I can see where I've painted. All right, let me paint along this mountain line here. You can see I spilled, so I'm gonna grab the erase brush, get a little bit bigger of one, and just clean it up. Now, could we go in from here and do a better job painting initially? Yes, but the whole point of range masking is to save you time and make more precise selections. So let's see what Lightroom can do with just this. I might clean up a little bit here just with the normal brush, but let's see what Lightroom can achieve with what we've come up with so far. So we make a rough selection, and then we're gonna come down to the bottom of the selection tool, and we're gonna turn on the luminance range mask. And this gives us a left range and a right range slider, as well as a smoothness slider. So the way to think of left range and right range, uh, it's really it's just one slider, there's two sides to it, is anything between those two little handles is going to be selected and anything outside those two little handles is not going to be selected and you can see on that little box the left hand range slider is for the dark stuff and the right hand is for the light stuff so the idea is we want to move those two handles in as close as we can get them while still making sure that everything we want selected is selected so it's very simple sounds kind of confusing but let's start off with the light side of the range so I'm gonna take the right side of that and I'm gonna move it in. And I want you to notice specifically that left side, really the whole mountain range. You see as I move that in, kind of shock it, before, after, before, after. It's cleaning up the upper edge of that selection. We're basically telling Lightroom, hey, anything that's brighter than 75, don't select it. And the whole sky is brighter than 75. So Lightroom says, ah, I don't need you. That's awesome, right? That's giving us a very precise line at the top of our mountain range. To paint that would take quite a long time. Now let's do the left one. This is saying how dark do we want to select things. So I'm going to bring that up, up and up and up, and you can see we go too far, everything deselects. So there's where we started. Bring it up, 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 and you can see right about there those grasses, not the grasses, the bushes in the foreground, not foreground, middle ground. The bushes in the middle ground start to get changed or not changed, all right? So we can see before and after, before and after. And we just make sure that we move in that slider enough 
that what we don't want selected is no longer selected. Now we can also see I spilled a little bit with my painting over here. We have a little bit of haloing. So I'm going to grab the A brush and I'm going to go back in with a little bit smaller of a brush and clean up around these leaves. But notice that it doesn't paint the leaves. It only paints the mountains in the background. That's because this range mask is turned on, which is super awesome. So again, what we're saying is this. The range from 0 to 100, think of that as the range from black to white. We want to bring those two sliders in together to get them centered around the tonality, the brightness, darkness that we actually want selected, right? And we can see here, we are selecting everything from 34 to 72. And anything in that range is being selected by our selection here, all right? So starts with a rough selection. You just paint it out. Then you come in, turn on the luminance range mask, and move those two sliders as close together as you can get them. All right, And we could actually go even a little closer, I think, here. I want to do a better job. And then we can take the smoothness up or down. And you can see what that does is it's kind of like feathering. It's saying, hey, do you want a very hard-edged transition between what's selected and what's not selected? Or do you want more of a soft and fuzzy edge? And that lets us control that. So I can say, ah, oh, you know, I want a little softer than that, so maybe right about 60 works for me. All right? And just like with the color range mask, when we're done, we turn off the overlay, and now we can fine tune it. So I might want to darken those mountains a little bit. I might want to purple them a little bit, make them look kind of sunsetty. Might want to give them a little more contrast. And we can see everything we're doing is happening very specifically to only the mountains. So just like color range masks where you can decide I want this color or that color, luminance range masks say, hey, I either want this tonality or that tonality. Super simple tool with very powerful results. If we look at the before after here, we can see those mountains change from shot to shot and only the mountains are changing. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. You disliked it, hit the dislike button. If you have a question, comment, concern, whatever it is, leave it down in the comment section down below. And lastly, if you like RMSP's videos and you like what we're doing here, hit that subscribe button down in the corner so you can stay up to date with all of our future videos. Thanks for watching.